The goal of networking is not to connect, but to actually make connections. And one of the things that people forget about is that they spend a ton of time connecting with a lot of different people on a surface level, but they never actually bring a relationship towards a deeper, meaningful relationship. In this video, I wanna help you avoid just making surface level connects, but actually making deeper level connections. And I wanna teach you about how to kind of bring a complete stranger to a best friend or a confidant. So welcome back to the channel. My name is Patrick Red. I'm the CEO of Elite Lifestyle Mentoring, where we show high-performing professionals how to actually build meaningful relationships without sacrificing time for their business. You can apply for a free consultation call at EliteLifestyleMentoring.com. If you are looking to actually build deep, meaningful relationships, I mean, who isn't, right? You have to avoid just becoming this guy who's just kind of trying to connect with people, just trying to network with people, because one of the things that was lost in translation when people told you go to networking events or go connect with new people or go meet new people was the idea and the process of how to bring somebody from just a surface level friend to actual meaningful relationship. So in this video, I wanna give you some practical tips that you can start implementing to actually go more in depth with people, actually go beyond the surface level, and how to actually create more meaningful relationships where people aren't just these you know, followers on your Instagram or likes on an Instagram post or connections that you have on LinkedIn, but how to definitionally bring somebody into a real life world scenario where they can actually become your friend. So the first point is that you have to understand the process from zero to one, right? So here's what I mean. You have to understand what the full process looks like from somebody being a complete stranger to somebody actually becoming a best friend, a business partner, or somebody who's actually close to you. Maybe in the past, your business partners or your best friends or your relationships have just kind of drifted into your life, but there was no set clear process, right? It was very random. And if you keep going in in life, you will meet new people and you know some of those people won't have the type of standards that you've set for the type of people that you want to have in your life. For example, you might not get to the next level in terms of what type of connections you want to, you might not truly enjoy the people that you're around all of the time. And in that case, you're kind of living in this kind of cage because you're afraid to step out and build a better relationship, but you simply just don't know how because you don't understand that full process from zero to one. So the process of bringing somebody from a stranger to a best friend confidant is a skill set. And the better you get at the skill set, you know, the faster you can bring somebody from that process to zero to one, right? But this is where a lot of people really mess up in terms of networking. They go out and they meet a ton of people, you know, they exchange business cards, you know, they connect, or maybe they add them to their own general email listing, or they send out updates, but it never brings them to any type of real life connections or real life rewards or real life success because of that network. And that's because it's kind of like the spray and pray approach. You just meet a bunch of people and you have no intention. You don't really understand how to bring that conversation to something that actually helps you build your business, help you grow your network, helps you actually get a tangible impact in your life. You have to understand what is that process from zero to one in a very step-by-step -step pathway. Now, tip number two is that once you understand that zero to one process, then you have to start picking a niche. So you have to start picking exactly what type of people would help you accomplish your own personal goals. And obviously, if you haven't written out your own personal goals, there's a lot of things that are gonna be a lot more frustrating than that. There's almost no skill that's more important for your self growth as a man, being on your purpose, as being able to define clear goals for yourself. I like to call this the North Star. That's some of the things that me and my clients, we do right from the beginning because even some of my clients, they come back two and a half years from when they've done the program. It's kind of wild because I've been teaching it that long. And they're like, hey, I'm still executing on this North Star. I'm still executing on these goals that I have today. And it's given me such a amazing direction to run in, right? Because not only do you wanna make more connections, not only do you wanna make understand that process from zero to one, but you also wanna make sure that anybody that actually has a depth of a connection with you, that are actually gonna help you in your personal goals. Because let's say if you became best friends with somebody who has absolutely nothing in common with you, who doesn't end up benefiting you in any type of way at all, and you have no way to offer value into their lives either. Well then, what ends up happening is that you just have a best friend that is kind of like, I guess, a best friend in terms of like you have mutual respect for each other, but it doesn't help you actually accomplish the goals that you want, which is one of the main parts of relationships because you are one introduction away from whatever you want. Tip number three is that you have to understand how to properly offer value to people 
in a mutually beneficial way. People that are really good at connecting with people, they don't even think about how they can offer value, but they go a step beyond that and they think of, how can I introduce this person that I'm meeting right now to somebody else that would also be interested in meeting this person and how do they both get value from meeting each other? Because networking implies that you are just putting your own needs first and you know you have your own goals and you have your own agenda and in doing so it kind of makes other people shun you off because they can feel that. Other people can feel that you're being needy or that you have some underlying agenda even if you don't explicitly say it. And at the end of the day, if you don't actually offer any type of value or bring some type of value to the table, people are just not simply gonna wanna be around you because not only do you have to offer value, but you have to have a valuable presence. And an easy way of having a valuable presence is by introducing the people that you're already talking to to somebody else in your existing network that can help leverage that even further. And that's really one of the biggest powers about networking groups, uh, masterminds where you pay thousands of dollars because every other person that's in that group, they're not just guys who are street bums that are only looking to take value and only looking to network, but they're guys who are really to make connections, not just connect. And connections are the deeper part of relationships where you are offering value to other people through introducing them to your own network and also offering value to them directly in the things and resources that you have. But if you wanna become one of those social mavericks, like I like to call them, a guy who really knows a lot of people and is really the guy who puts all these pieces together and you're not necessarily like the court jester doing the actual uh, work, but you're just putting people together and seeing what they can kind of combine and see how you can actually offer value in that type of way, your life is gonna be a lot simpler because now you're not constantly having to like nurture all these relationships. But when you put two people together that each get benefit from those conversations, you also gain status, which is kind of amazing. And that will even build your value you and keep you if you have two surface level people that you kind of know but you know that they're like in the same industry or they might be related or some type of way and business wise or you know in terms of their hobbies and you just introduce those two people together it actually builds your relationship with you as well from each of these guys so that's one of the main things that I've ever taken away is like hey you don't have to be the one doing all the work or talking or having the conversations you can literally just introduce people to other people and they see you as higher value I do this as well when girls go fly to Las Vegas I introduce them to promoters my girl guys same thing with Miami I'll just send promoters girls because you know even if I'm in DC I'll send them send like a group of 10 girls four girls six girls other guys have done that for me in the past and it just builds the relationship without you necessarily having to be the one going out and offering the value so to speak then point four for bringing people from zero to one is the replicatable process is something that's already been figured out right there's already been guys who understand how to capture people's attention they already understand how to find what I like to call a primary driver motion uh, you can watch the video that I have on the top 10 social circle terms to know on how to future project how to create open loops with people I have another video that will be coming out here in the future about that as well and then how to actually build commonalities in terms of evoking like hey what things do we have in common do we know any mutual friends um, those are things that build so much more status and comfort with another person right off the bat without you necessarily having to be like super conversational like if you have a mutual friend in common it's like okay this guy's cool he knows this other person okay we must have something in common as well just builds the relationship so much better as well then past that being able to actually exchange social social media after you have a future plan. So not just exchanging numbers and being like, oh yeah, text me sometime, we'll go grab lunch, but really solidifying what a future plan would be, something that you both kind of have an interest, even if it's like a crazy thing, like for example, threw a party over in Medellin with some like-minded guys and kind of a masterminding party as well. I'm gonna end up going to Puerto Rico and go party in this strip club that's kind of like 11, but in Puerto Rico. So I'm looking forward to that as well. And then past that, one of the last parts of that process of zero to one is actually being able to ping somebody passively through social media, be able to build that passive attraction through social media because social media might sound fake, but it's the way to scale your time. If you're constantly just limiting yourself to talking one-on-one -on -one to people, as soon as you have that first conversation, unless you call people, unless you text them, unless you're actively reaching out to the 500 people, 1,000 people, 2,000 people that you've met over the last year, it's gonna be constantly, they forget about you more and more and more and more until you actually text them actively and then how often are they gonna even respond or remember who you are. But with social media, it's like if you have an amazing interaction to begin with, and then you also are posting on social media, they actually get to know you more and more and more as you're going on as well. I'm looking at this amazing airport over here as well beautiful in DC. So thankful to be able to share these things with you about how to create those deep, meaningful relationships from surface level relationships. If you're struggling with actually being able to make these meaningful relationships, if you're kind of tired and frustrated of 
you know, maybe you've tried other social programs or maybe you've tried to actually solve this for yourself, but you haven't simply gotten there. What I can offer you is a free consultation call, either with me personally or one of my expert coaches. There's no obligation to work with us. This is not a sales call. Click the first link down below, EliteLifestyleMentoring.com. Never procrastinate. I will not always be coaching this, so this opportunity may be gone by the time you're watching this, but you know, go ahead and check it out, EliteLifestyleMentoring.com, and I'll talk to you very soon.